Welcome to Indoor Cycling TV, the global community for indoor cycling and spinning. Now, every week we feature badass studios and rock star spin instructors. You also get spin classes absolutely free. So hit the subscribe button to avoid missing the world's greatest studios and instructors. Don't forget to like and share. Now let's watch today's video. Welcome back to Indoor Cycling TV. Now, if you happen to be new to the show, Indoor Cycling TV is the central hub of all things spinning and indoor cycling. Now, if you haven't subscribed, of course, make sure that you do, so you don't miss out on anything that we've got coming forward. So, this week we have the beautiful guest, Erin. I hope everybody is welcoming you from wherever they are watching this video. So, welcome. Uh, first, I want to begin by asking you the first question. Where do you currently offer indoor cycling? Yeah, so um, I'm an instructor in Cedar Park, Texas at a um, local intimate small studio called Block Cycle. You spell it uh, B-L-O-C. Okay, great. And how long have you been there and how did you happen upon this studio? Um, yeah, so I've been at Block for about six months and um so uh not very long yet and i stumbled upon it came upon it because one of my old students at a previous um studio became an instructor and um i wanted to um, be on the same team as her as an instructor so it was kind of full circle that i would be now on the same team as a you know a veteran instructor helping one of my students become uh, start her instruct instructing journey so that's amazing. It's the, the circle of spinning. Hey, it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me briefly then about Block Studio. Is it like um, a rhythm and traditional or is it a bit of both? And of course, what makes it badass? Yeah, for sure. Great question. Um, Block is a mixture of a lot of things. It's we offer full rhythmic classes, um, you know, choreographed um, by the instructor themselves. You're free to do all the safe stuff that you want to do. Um, we also offer strict power metric based rides. Um, so we're coaching by wattage and output and energy. And then we have a class where we put both those together, which is called um, rhythm and, and, and power. It's, it's our hybrid version of a little bit of 50% um, rhythmic chore choreographed uh, indoor cycling and then 50% going, talking to the numbers and, and pushing past the beat and the intervals and stuff like that. And which one is your personal favorite? The, the one in the middle that we just talked about. There yeah, I have experience. Straddling the two, there you go. Yeah, no, pick no yeah. sides. <laughs> okay, yeah. brilliant. Um, and how did you come into the fitness industry? How did you begin your career? Yeah, so um, I was an athlete my whole life. I swam at uh, the University of Texas here in Austin, where I live now. And um, then I became a personal trainer. Um, so I just wanted to stay in the in the fitness industry. It was just a passion of mine um, as I got out of college and um, started to really hone in on my ability to motivate people and coach people and help people. And then um, one of the, the studios that I was a personal trainer at, um, I was at the right place at the right time. Um, she wanted to open a small little room at our current studio that I was training clients out of 11 years ago. And um, I, was, I was there and she said, hey, you're gonna be the other instructor. We're gonna learn how to do this. And then it, that was it, so. Wow, hey, yeah, right place, right time. That sounds an amazing <laughs> opportunity. It's obviously worked out very well for you, so that's fantastic. Um, so yeah. how did you then, was that when you started transitioning into indoor cycling or was it like, how did you get into that? What path did you go down? Yeah, um, that was how I got started um, and fell in love with it. Um, and, and as I'm sure most people know that are watching your first indoor cycling class can either get you hooked, uh, Make or, break <laughs> or you, it can definitely you, <laughs> crush your soul <laughs> or it can make you run in the other direction. And yeah. there's typically not an in-between. So, um, for me, I was hooked. Mm -hmm. Um, it was the first time I'd ever even taken a, a class, not only uh, additionally to being an instructor. So for me, it all happened together. 
and I just became obsessed and, and hooked. It was a great outlet for me. Um, I struggled with a lot of depression coming out of college, losing my identity as an athlete. And that was my like funnel of, of output. And so I just fell in love with it. And then um, started to teach other places when that opportunity was over. And yeah, that was, it's been about 10 and a half years now, so. Well, it, you do not look like you could have 10 and a half years behind you in the world of spinning. So you look absolutely fabulous. I'm, I, maybe I should take it up. There you go. <laughs> okay, Thank so you. how did you get your skill and certification? And is it the same course of action that you would recommend others to do? Or would you, is there an easier way to get to where you are if you know, you know? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, my personal experience to kind of piggyback off what I was saying and, and how it's been 10 and a half years is I was fortunate enough to be placed with multiple big brands like Flywheel Sports, um, Cycle Bar, um, who put you through training and have formal credential requirements um, that they even consider, well, before they even consider you. And I was lucky enough to receive training through those big companies um, I was with both of them for two years each, so four years total. Um, and so, you know, outside of that, there was no certification that I personally had to do. I just learned from other instructors in the Austin market. And, but with those two big companies, that's where I really learned a lot and was fortunate to be put into a training program. Mm -hmm. And so I've taken what I've learned from those, those four years and, and really applied it to what I do now. And, and so, um, but yeah, that's, that's my story. <laughs> and do, so. do you think that are those opportunities, you know, readily available or do you have to kind of hunt for them, search for them, really kind of push yourself to find them? That's a great question too. Um, I know with, you know, being 2021, this day and age in the market of indoor cycling, um, it's, it's really gotten away from like getting certified through, you know, less mills and, you know, big, Globo corporate gyms and that's where it was like 15 years ago now it's 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 if from based off my experience and very successful colleagues and 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 other people in the industry you kind of have to go out and learn on your own you have to you have to enroll yourself in classes you have to follow other instructors you have to ask for help um and and you it's very proactive to to get to a place of experience um, and if you don't ask for it, you know, it, it's definitely not going to be given to you. So I would say it's, it's, it's a hustle to, um, to put yourself in a position to learn. Mm -hmm. No, great. Yeah. Hustle, hustle. That's what I like. Hustle, hustle, hustle. <laughs> okay. So going back to you as an instructor, so what type of classes do you offer? What's kind of duration and what's kind of, you would say your unique selling point as an instructor? Why am I coming to you? That's what I want to know. Why am I coming to you? Yeah. Um, well, I think the first part of your question was um, kind of my, my coaching style, right? Mm -hmm. What I'm offering. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have used my life experiences uh, to hone in on knowing what other people probably need when they step inside that room. Mm -hmm. um, I do feel like it's my purpose. I really uh, have learned that about myself as I'm as I'm instructing over the years, and so um, for for me, starting point to that question is I, and I don't know if it's because I'm in sales for a living or my degrees in psychology or I was a personal trainer or an athlete. I don't know what it is, but I just have this burning internal passion to make sure that someone's day is better when they, when they leave the cycling room. And so, um, I think for whatever reason I've put through, been put through adversity and challenges in my life. I know that, that there's a reason for that. And I'm able to use that to help other people understand you're going to be okay. Like this, this is 45 minutes for you and, and nothing else matters. But, um, as far as my, as my coaching style goes, it's, it's a little, <laughs> Some people like to call me like the emo empathetic drill sergeant. Oh, um, yeah. wow. What a, what a cocktail. Okay. I like that. 
there's a lot going on, um, you know, mixed with my ability to tap into human emotion and, and, and things like that. I also have um, a little bit of a drill sergeant in me. So um, I've been known for dropping F-bombs and for being like, turn your resistance up. You're not working hard enough. You know, like I'm really big on if you're going to be in that room, you're going to show up for yourself. I'm really big on holding yourself accountable. And so um, it's, there's two different there's a lot going on and I use the playlist to kind of drill sergeant this song or like empathetic this song so <laughs> okay yeah. okay no that's good to be like don't cry stop crying <laughs> oh I'm sorry stop crying no, no, no. <laughs> I would love I would love to take part in this as everyone who can watch <laughs> like you can tell I'm an English accent so we are doing this from two different sides of the globe currently if I'm ever in Texas I'm coming to you I may yeah. be crying. I'm not sure if I'm hardcore enough <laughs> for you, but I will give it my best shot. Okay, so on the other side of the scene, as you said, you um, do personal training. Do you offer anything else? Is it just strictly spin or do you kind of branch out and do other stuff? That's a great question. So actually at Block Cycle, um, we offer other classes. Um, we offer um, strength and toning classes with weights and resistance bands. And we also have a bar studio that's attached as well. So um, we have a lot of different stuff going on inside those doors. Um, me personally, I, I work full time for a company called ZipRecruiter. I'm sure um, most people know who that is. Um, so I don't have a whole lot of other free time, but I, um, I do offer nutrition programs and online training programs. So like if, if someone needs help and they don't want to have to sift through like who should I get to help me? Then I always kind of raise my hand and I can spend an hour like um, offering nutrition or a fitness routine. Since I did it for so long, it's easy for me to just to just spit it You've out. You've got so. it all, all there in, in inside. You can just whack it yeah. out. That's good. <laughs> Muscle memory, literally. Muscle memory. <laughs> Fantastic. And so those other things, is it predominantly all in-house? Do you do any, obviously you personally would do online training, but does the actual blocks you themselves any, offer anything outside of their working hours or? We do, we do. The owner, um, Kelly of Block Cycle actually offers um, personal training, nutrition programming. So we have a lot of writers, pardon me, and people that come into the studio to take other classes that, that do the nutrition program that Block Cycle actually offers. So we do have that. Um, going on and it's, it's really helpful you have an accountability group and you meet up every week and get measured and stuff like that yeah that's what you need though isn't it you need other people on that journey with you i i know i know the feeling okay so i think you've already covered the next question that's perfect um okay no this one's a good one what are some of the challenges that you face in your job Ooh, um you know, being an indoor cycling instructor is not, it doesn't feel like work. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't feel like a job. It's, I get to make playlists that change people's moods and, and, and guide them through a euphoric, cathartic experience. And, and it just, it doesn't feel like work. Mm -hmm. um, I think the biggest challenge in, a, in the indoor cycling market, especially in Austin, Texas, um, is, 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 is competition. Um, we're a smaller studio um, and it's it's hard to get people in the door without that big brand um, aggressive marketing. Mm -hmm. um, so I think if I were to pick a challenge, that would be it. But um, outside of that, it's it's like, it's, it's just, it's so amazing. There's nothing about it that's hard at all. So. That sounds awesome. That's good. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so what do you think that, what attributes do people need to be a successful spin coach? What do you kind of learn on the way that you know definitely is kind of an attribute you need to be good? Oh, I love this question. Um, not in any particular order, so I'll just think organically here. Um, a, a, a passion to help other people. Yeah. Um, you've got to be motivated yourself before you're going to get on top of a podium and lead a room. Um, you have to be self-driven. You have to be motivated. You have to be ambitious. Um, you know, if you want to be really successful at it, 
and you have to have an eagerness to learn from others. I think one of the biggest things that, that I've seen with my colleagues and myself and, and peers is that it, it's a really competitive market and it can get, it can get dirty sometimes. Mm -hmm. So keeping your ego low is, is something I would offer to someone who's getting into it. Um, if you, if you want to be successful and the, and the, and the last thing too, is know that with just like with anything in life that you're starting for the first time, you're not going to be great at it right away. Um, and that's where you kind of tie all those things together, knowing like, okay, I'm going to do this. Cause I, I, this is a passion of mine, but I need to be patient and, and, um, and look at, you know, people in the market that have been doing it for, for five, 10 years and, and ask them questions. And, and again, tying that eager to learn into, um, a, it's a new job. So you're, you're not going to, you're going to fail forward. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. Sell forward. I like that. Yeah. Um, and what personally inspires you? What keeps you driven? What is that driving force behind you? There's a lot. I mean, for s just to be completely candid, I mean, for my own reason, like it's great for your body. <laughs> um, it's great yeah. for, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's aesthetically for vanity reasons it's I mean we all listen we those of us who who exercise we we work out for internal reasons but also external reasons so from an aesthetical standpoint I've never I was a college swimmer and my body has never looked like this and um it's it's due to indoor cycling and so for me I like the way I look and feel every day and that's enough to keep me coming back until my hip like pops out of socket, whatever, whenever day that is, you know? Um, but from an instructor standpoint and not from like a rider selfish standpoint, from an instructor standpoint, I have the capacity to give and fill others cups. And I, I want to use that um, because it's a gift I've been given. And I want, I want to be able to help people, um, especially the last year, it's been an awful year and, um, and people need help. And so if I can offer that and, and get to work out with them, like it's, it's a win-win. Yeah, no, you're right. It has been a really tough year. Um, and that, that a good thing to talk about kind of the, the members and the people that go to your, your sessions, kind of what sort of a, an improvement are you seeing? What can you see like in the first 30 days? What do you expect your, your clientele to experience really? Gosh, um, mental health improvement. Yeah. Um, energy improvement. Um, those would be the top two. Your your mental health starts to improve. Um, I think it was Elle Woods in uh, Legally Blonde, right? Exercise leads to endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Yeah. So yeah. it's so true. Um, your body will feel things in places you didn't know existed if you're just getting started as a writer yeah. um as doms. <laughs> oh the doms oh no 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 <laughs> I know that pain I know that pain but it's all worth it anybody who is new out there you push past the pain it does go away it yeah does. yeah I yeah you're if you're just getting into it just know that there are going to be places that you didn't know existed that are going to hurt and your body will adapt to it it's super your body is super smart so hang in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'd say the biggest thing that, 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 that you'll notice is uh, you sleep better, your energy's up in the morning, you feel better, your brain's on more. It's just, it's an overall internal, external um, win mm -hmm. for sure. Is there, is there somebody in your, uh, in your professional history that stands out as like a, a somebody who's really responded to the training, really responded to what you were doing? Is there somebody that you can, you can pick out that stands out as the biggest transformation, let's say? Yeah, like a writer, mm -hmm. you mean? Like a, yeah. like a student? Yeah. Yeah, um, my, my uh, colleague and coach, her name's Holly Bear, <laughs> I get teary-eyed. Um, she, she was my student at Flywheel Sports and that was to this day, four or five years ago. Um, and she's lost like so much weight. Um, and it's just from indoor cycling. And, um, she's the reason I'm at block. She's an instructor at block. She started as a student 
I couldn't think of a better person to answer that question with. I mean, she just, she put her engines on and she just went for it and she's still going for it. And now she's up as an instructor. And so that's, it's the most power, one of the most powerful things I've ever seen. Wow. Well, it sounds amazing. You're even getting me teary. I'm like, stop, I'm getting all emotional. Oh, <laughs> but it is amazing to see that, that you've had a hand in, in such a transformation and to see it yourself and to now work alongside her, that's kind of, that's pretty magical. Stop, yeah. I'm going to cry. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to dive for, we're going to talk about something else now. Otherwise, we're all going to, we're all going to have a break down here. Um, what should people know about you, Erin? What, what kind of, to leave it on like a final note, what do you want to tell everyone? Um, life is meant to be very challenging. Um, and I think we've learned that over the last year more so than ever before. So, um, I would just advise whether you're in the indoor cycling community or not, if you're struggling, um, turn to, turn to ex exercise, turn to indoor cycling. It will help you. It will, it will change your, your life. Um, and just, you know, like I said, at the beginning of the interview, um, for, for whatever reason, I've been put through an immense amount of challenges personally. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would, just, it, I would just pray and advise that like, if you're going through it too, um, know that you're not alone. Um, or, no, you're never alone. And um, if you need some sort of outlet, uh, get your sweat on because that is, you're, you're only gonna be there for yourself in the long run and you gotta take care of yourself. And, um, but yeah, I just, fortitude like keep going keep moving do do the things that you need to do for yourself um just put one foot in front of the other so yeah good life advice i might take you over as a life coach <laughs> soon spin coach life coach everything coach great well that that was my last question so thank yeah. you so much erin this has been a fantastic interview it, we've gone on an emotional roller coaster who knew who knew yeah uh, i told yeah. you i'm really good at that i told I you i know <laughs> i mean i mean, i'm sweating as well and i'm crying oh it's all very good i'm very impressed if this is just a yeah. taste <laughs> of what your sessions are like Wow, I can only imagine. Now, before we go, um, of course, do give a shout out. How can people find you? How can people find Block? Do all your rundowns and tags and whatnot. Okay. Um, like I said, so Block Cycle is in Cedar Park, Texas. Cedar Park, Texas is a is a suburb uh, north of Austin. Um, so again, you spell it without the K. Um, so it's B-L-O-C. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Best way to find us is to just search us on Instagram. Um, anything hashtag block cycle or just look up block cycle. It's a little lowercase b. Um, yeah. And what about you personally? You want to give yourself? A oh yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. You are the star. <laughs> Shout yourself out, girl. Thanks, Annie. <laughs> um, my Instagram handle is l e t t h e e r i n. So when you put it all together, it's let the air in um and, oh. and yeah <laughs> see what you did there let the air in I, that's really smart <laughs> so i made i made that instagram handle um back when i was at flywheel and it was because i was uh in a, in a bad relationship and we've all been there um and so i had a i had a, a boyfriend telling me that i was too much and i was too aggressive and i did this wrong and so the instagram handle is for like let me be myself let the air in just like let her be so of course there's more emo and we're still at the end of the interviews. I, I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> we're digging down. Now, before this comes into a whole psychotherapy session, we will draw it to a close. Um, thank you so much. We will put all the thank links you. to everything that you've said um, in the description as well. So everybody's got everything and hopefully, hopefully we will see you again. And if I'm ever in Texas, I'm coming your way, girl. Thanks, Annie. Thanks so much for this. No so much fun. Made my Glad day. Enjoy it. Lovely to meet you, and we will talk again. Bye. Okay. Thank you.